Hello and welcome once again to this module number 13. We are going to connect the power and then it will be powering the other component. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. In this module, when we switch it on, you will be able to see some display in your climate clock. So, let me show you, it's very simple once again. You have received one power cable which is something like this. The so one side is this 2 pin which is uh, nothing but a 230 volt, you have to connect it. Other side is this open end. What you have to do is, in this climate clock assembly that we have seen, you must see there is a hole here. I don't know if you can see there is a hole here on the right hand side from where it started. What you have to do is, you have to insert this cable there. Just do it together. Okay. So, there is a cable. This is being done, the hole is provided so that you can actually close this from the top and you'll, your power cable will go inside. And what you can do is, so that there is no stress on this cable, you can actually give it a knot here. The purpose of this knot is what? Even if somebody pulls it now, it will be well fixed. So, something like this, a knot is provided so that it is fixed. In this power supply, you will see here there is a line and neutral. The first one is a line and the second one is neutral. So, I need to connect the red one to the line and the black to the neutral. Let me do this. I am just going to open it a little bit. I am going to connect here the red one. Okay, as I always suggest, pull it little bit so that you know that it is properly fixed, little bit only. Don't pull it hard, otherwise everything will come out. And then we are going to supply the negative. All right. So both of this, uh, the power is now connected. Red one to the line and the black went to the neutral and that is it, we are ready. In model 2, when we are going to put p display, it is going to look like this. This is how in the second type of cabinet it is going to do. We have put the all electronics here, you see, this is how it is going to look from the back side. Look at how it, the arrows are going in one direction, there are FRC and there is a controller here, there is a power supply here. All the connections are made and you can cover it from the back side and this clock will be ready. So, this is how the second cabinet is going to look like. This is just for you to be comfortable with both kind of cabinet. The dimensions are exactly the same, it is only the material is going to be different. Make sure that uh, when you are doing though everything is mounted this on a plastic body of the, of the P10 and the network. But make sure that when you do this, children are not around. When students are doing that, be careful, stay away from the power. It is actually 230 volt power cable that you are putting. So, be cautious about it. Make sure there is somebody uh, around. You are wearing your shoes or chappals while you are doing this. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to now put this to power supply and see that LED displays on. This is a 2 pin power connection. In case if somebody buys a 3 pin, there is a ground point also available. So, there is a green wire, you can do that. So, this is a power supply, I am going to connect them together, I am putting it here and I am switching on the power supply. Right now, it is not connected, so you see the other side, so nothing is on the display. I hope as soon as the power is on, something will come on. Let us see. Yes. So, very nice, This uh, there is a display here, now it is some Chinese display. We do not know what is happening and as I said, it is not enough to do this, we need to program. Now what we are going to do, look at how does it look at the back side. Well, as I said, uh, just be very cautious, otherwise uh, it is well protected, so you do not have to worry about the shock, but make sure that you are wearing something, you are not touching directly. But this is how, now you can see the two indication, here is a red light which shows that there is a power supply, the power is actually being provided to this. Also you see another 
red indication here the blinking light on the controller what does it mean the controller is also working fine all right so this is all done from the external side this is all 5 volt connection that is coming from here the 5 volt is going to all this and powering led leds are working now i am going to close this and uh, so you can also now close this from the top so let me close it there is this uh, cover that you would receive you can just put there are also holes here drilled here and this sheet and this sheet so you can just match this and match this everywhere you can screw it it is not going to make it a waterproof but it can make it as a dust proof you can just use it and you can install it outside better if you install it a place where it is protected from the rain otherwise the p10 display is actually waterproof these are now little different screws that you see there is no cross it's only kind of minus and you need a different screwdriver head also so i have changed that screwdriver head and i'm going to put it there so we can do it everywhere and then you will also have this kind of uh, hangers when you want to install this clock put it on the wall we need something we have made the arrangement in our clock for this also so this is how one by one you can put all the screws all right so you can see now we have fixed the the back side of this and everything is secured now all the components are there at the back side this is the front side so power supply part is ready and now we are ready to go to the next step when we are going to program the controller itself and what needs to be displayed on this screen basically our number for 1.5 degree centigrade countdown also i told you that this is a wonderful skill that you are learning so not only that climate clock you can use this skill to make other kind of display and make it as your profession as well isn't it so we are two step closer now to finally making our climate clock so thank you very much in this step i hope it is very clear how to provide the power supply now in the next step we are going to learn how to power this we need two things we need a mobile app to connect and then we also need a laptop to you know feed in the data so to i am going to show you in the next two step how to do that so till then stay tuned and connected and enjoy the learning of making climate clock thank you very much see you